Make sure your mobile phone is powered off. Give it a moment of silence, maybe even a little funeral dirge for its old data. Press and hold the volume up key and the power key simultaneously. Pretend you're performing a secret handshake with your phone. When you see the Samsung logo, release the power key but keep holding the volume up key. It's like releasing a wild animal into its natural habitat but less dangerous. When you see the Android recovery menu, release all buttons. Ah, the mystical realm of the Android recovery menu, where all your phone's deepest secrets are stored. Use the volume down key to navigate. It seems like your phone's factory reset option has pulled a Houdini and disappeared into thin air. Perhaps it's off on a magical adventure to find itself. But fear not, we'll bring it back from the land of the lost faster than you can say, abracadabra. Or maybe your phone's factory data reset option is just feeling a bit shy and needs a little encouragement to come out of hiding. Try sweet talking it with promises of a fresh start and a bouquet of virtual flowers. Sometimes a little kindness goes a long way in the world of technology. As a last resort, you can use third-party software to reset your phone. However, proceed with caution as using untrusted tools can damage your phone or compromise your data. Only use reputable and well-reviewed tools and make sure you understand the risks involved before proceeding. Click on the start menu button. You will find a list of options on the left side of the window. Click on Windows Security. Under Windows Security, you will see various options. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. In the Virus Threat Protection settings, you will see a section. Click on Manage Settings under this section. In the Virus Threat Protection settings, you'll see an option to toggle Real-Time Protection. Toggle this option to turn off Real-Time Protection. You may be prompted to confirm your action. If prompted, confirm that you want to disable Real-Time Protection. After completing your task that required the antivirus to be turned off, Remember to return to these settings and toggle real-time protection back on to ensure your system remains protected. And once you click on finish, the tool will launch itself. on the download mode section you'll find factory data reset and if anything goes wrong you'll still have soft brick fix and the device will back to normal function settings once you click on factory reset your phone will try to boot but it will be unable and this is a result due to corrupt data and will have the option to factory data reset the device. And once the wipe is complete your phone will reboot or you can click on reboot system now and if your phone is taking long to reboot you can force reboot by pressing the volume down button and the power button until the phone powers off then release the volume and the power button in the phone will restart automatically and once your phone reboots you'll have option you'll be able to access mtp and once your mtp Go to emergency call and dial star hash zero star hash. 
and once the test mode menu appears you need to go to your pc under the frp section go ahead on the mtp you will need to go to click on remove frp then you're going to select rapid mode if you have a low configuration computer but the other one will still work fine and you'll get a prompt asking you to go and dial star hash zero star hash and as we are already on the test mode menu the adb exploit will be sent on the device let me just let me turn the screen on so that we will know when it pops and know the way forward what to do next okay as it appears don't click on allow usb debugging just go to the list of your application and uninstall the exe if you uninstall the exe while it's running only some components will be removed and the tool you opened will still be able to work and what you need to do is you need to uninstall the tool so that the frp won't be removed we need to bypass kglock on the mtp screen and the problem with this tool is that once you click on allow usb debugging it proceeds to remove frp and this way our mobile device will be locked and what you need to do is just go ahead and click always allow until it accepts just click on always allow until usb debugging is enabled then go back to the tool this tool we uninstall some of the components so it will say fail right here user cancelled you can see it on the red on the bottom right corner then while we are still on the mtp you are going to click on g unlock untested and you'll just wait for a few seconds there are three methods of unlocking kglock on this exe and the, the exe will automatically choose the best method for you you know the unlocking methods go according to security patch level each security patch has its own unlocking method but the, our main goal is to unlock the device now i'm going to set the phone normally as it asks for internet due to a false reset i'm going to connect to my wi-fi and then click on next and the phone will be set ready you'll just need to wait a few seconds then go ahead and click on remove kg lock again so this method is untested and i'm going to list the disadvantages of using this method both the disadvantages and the advantages you're going to click on kg unlock so this method is untested but it works now the only problem is that the rmm state is enabled once you reboot the device or you restart when you restart or reset don't perform a factory reset after using this method never you should reboot by a power bank if you think your phone will power off or reboot then you'll then you'll need 
to go to settings and toggle automatic restart and your device will not restart when required this you can toggle these settings on the battery options or depending on the ui you are running you'll be able to turn off auto restart and for now i'm not going to set any pin i'm not going to download these additional apps i'll just click on ok and my phone will be ready so we'll just have to wait a few moments then you'll need to click on key lock again and as you can see it's running android version 13 and key lock okay for this samsung account i'm going to skip i'll just skip in here i'm going to agree to samsung services you can't use this device without agreeing to the services okay what you need to do is go ahead and click on kg and lock again and remember don't skip the steps and your device will be brought to life okay go ahead and click on finish then wait just one second or maybe a few seconds depending on the speed of your internet connection and the processor of your mobile phone okay just click on allow if you're still connected to your pc discover a new favorite app. okay remind me later hmm. and the device is successfully unlocked so why don't you subscribe for more tutorials okay as you can see it's 14th february 2024 when i performed this method so i'll come back and tell you whether this method how long will it run maybe a few months a few years forever i'll update you so subscribe if you want to know that in a few upcoming days or maybe months as you can see it's running android 13 yeah and don't forget to subscribe so this way i'll know which videos you want me to upload or make comment down below which video you'd like to see next thanks for watching